Hello, plant friends. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jimmy. I'm a doctor and tropical plant hobbyist in LA. I make videos about my plants, other people's plants, and plants, plants, plants. This video is going to be an update on my shingling or climbing plants. I made a video about them probably about, about two months ago and um, I also made a video about how to make a moss pole. I thought that they were going to do well when I started doing this because I thought that, you know, having them on these moss poles would really mimic how they climb on trees in their natural environment. But, but wow, they have been doing just absolutely amazing and blowing my expectations out of the water. The Cryptantha has been by far the easiest and most robust, definitely the fastest grower out of all the, the shinglers that I have. It's just growing like crazy. It's almost an invasive species in my moss board collection habitat. The segments that grew off the board sort of just turned into vines. So I clipped those segments off and I just attached the vines onto the moss board. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm expecting it'll be okay, but either way, if not, then, well, that's, you know, that's, that's a lesson learned. I assume that if you want to be on the safer side, you can cut a little lower down on the vine so that you have more more leaves more mature leaves and more established roots to help you know your new vine segment thrive repsidiophora core something that's a good grower too one of the most recent additions to my collection and that's that's actually been a good grower i didn't think it was going to grow as well or would grow as well as it does but it's uh, it's been doing great not really at the same level as the Cryptantha though. My Repsidiophora high is doing well. I would say it's slower than the other two, but it's still doing well. Since I've attached them to the moss pole, I just miss them once a day or every other day, and then I rinse them in my sink once a week. They've all been treated the same, and they've all been doing fine. If you're enjoying the content so far, just uh, click on the like and subscribe button and hit that bell icon to, so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I think the only plant that is a bit difficult has been my Monstera dubia. The juvenile Monstera dubia is a shingling form. I have it on here with the rest, but you know, in the two months that I've had it, it hasn't, it hasn't done anything. I also have a uh, Monstera dubia that's against a board, but the bases in soil, that hasn't done anything either. So I, I really I really have no idea what it wants or what it needs. It's not dying, but it's also not thriving. So it's it's been a bit uh, confusing or I don't know, it's it's just not doing that well in my environment and I I really don't know uh, what what I need to do differently. So my moss boards are hanging on the side of my refrigerator with magnets on top and then also some some magnets below. It's facing my window. I would say that it's getting probably about medium light, nothing direct. I really think that these plants would do perfectly fine in medium or even low light. These guys do not need your prime light real estate. So I think that me drenching the board once a week provides it with enough moisture in my particular environment so that, you know, misting once a day or every other day is okay. If you live in a much drier or much hotter environment, you may have to drench or soak or mist more often. You can really tell by just, you know, feeling your moss and all you really gotta do is just make sure that the moss stays damp and not completely dry. So by the time I drench or soak my moss board, the moss is pretty dry. I sort of have to rinse, you know, several rounds for the moss to, to finally absorb the water. When the moss is really dry and you're adding water to it, a lot of the water actually just kind of runs off the moss. Uh, because it takes a little bit of time for the moss to soak up the water. I get asked about fertilizer a lot. I really don't know um, the exact fertilizing requirements for these. I fertilize them, I would say, about once a month. So what I do is that I rinse them in my sink and I make sure that the moss is thoroughly soaked and then I add on a layer of fertilizer solution. 
right? Does, does that make sense? So, so I rinse first to make sure that the moss is thoroughly soaked and then I soak it again with the fertilizer solution. I tend to lean towards less is more and it's been working fine. So for the segments that are outgrowing their moss poles, I sort of just been clipping them off. You can give it to your friends, you can mount it on a new board. So overall, I consider this project a success so far. Uh, it's It's been really fun. The shinglers, again, like I said, have been working out and growing way beyond my expectations. And I really just want to collect more and more different types. So look forward to my future videos as I collect more and more shinglers. All right, till next time, happy planting.